the far future, the black world of gore. Gore? Watching me sleep again? Come to bed, dear, and I promise you a better view. Soon. I'm sorry I woke you. Is everything all right? I heard an explosion earlier and what sounded like thunder. Gods being gods. Nothing to worry about. Everything progresses as planned. Your bomb? It's almost finished, then? Almost. Yes. And once it is, once you've finally killed all the gods, you'll be free then, won't you? We all will. I have dreamed of that day for such a very long time, my love. But tell me, why do we never speak of what comes after? After? You know what comes after? I'd like to hear you say it. After the bomb. I will finally be ready to... To what, my love? And please don't say die. No. To live. Gore, is that... Go back to sleep, my love. And know that when you next wake, it will be to a world transformed. We should have a plan. Follow my lead, the both of you. And try not to get us killed. That's our plan. Hit him with hammers until he breaks. That's my plan. Everything below us, the entire planet, it all appears to be made from Gore's weapon. We should keep the fight in the air for as long as possible. You forget, the boy has no Mjolnir. He cannot fly. Do not worry about me, old man. I'm the only Thor here who has already beaten this bastard twice. You're also the only Thor who's been captured by him twice. We can't afford to be rash and reckless here. We must... You should have brought more Thors! Bah! You sour old crones have forgotten what it means to be a god of the Vikings! Here! Let me show you! And you idiot children have yet to learn what it means to be a king! Let alone a failed one. For the glory of Asgard! Mjolnir, old friend. Give me strength. Then struck Thor with the fury of a billion storms. The sky exploded with lightning and black gore. Thunder echoed through the depths of space. Thunder and the pounding of hammers. Thank you for this. Thunder gods, it would have been such a shame to have ended all of divinity without one last chance to be a butcher. A cask of the finest ale to the god who stills that tongue. I have waited 900 years for this moment, to feel the thunder in my blood once again. And do you? Let us see. later, light years away. Such was the awesome might of an Allfather Unleashed, that for the first time in millennia, the Butcher of Gods New fear. No. 
It would appear Gore is throwing chunks of moon at us. I Mjolnir finds that amusing. How about yours? Can't you hear it laughing? The true history of Gore's weapon had been lost to time, though there were many different stories and legends. Some said it was a blade forged by the Elder Gods and used in the time of creation to carve existence from the unbreakable stone of nothingness. Others said it was the darkness in all gods given form, and that whoever wielded it was merely an empty vessel for its murderous will. There were stories that it had slain billions upon billions, even before Gore. That it had raged through worlds like a wildfire through dry stalks. That its power would continue to grow for all time, until the day it finally blackened all of infinity. Perhaps on that day, they will tell stories of this one. Of the day Gore's black world became ringed with blood, and the screaming of gods filled the cosmos entire. The day the lords of all the heavens were slaughtered like lambs. I hear screaming from worlds away. Gods are dying. Gore is killing his slaves. He knows he's in trouble, and the god blood fuels his power. I will show the bastard blood. Let me... Flooding them. No Thor will survive this day. No Gore will either. Ha! Faster, you stupid shark! No more chains! No more of your black berserkers! Just you and me now, Gore! And the hammer I'm going to kill you with! I tell you to pray to your gods, but I know you don't have any. Though you may pray to me if you like. Though if you pray for a quick death, don't expect your prayer to be answered. <coughs> Serpents! Always another damn serpent! <coughs> we must be free of this mire. Gore must answer to the fury of our hammers. Am I not the All-Father Boy? Am I not the Way? And the Wrath? And the Wonder? Ah! Go! Leave the Lord of Asgard to deal with this worm! As Mjolnir flew, Thor strained to hold fast. Asteroids shattered in his wake. Stars flickered. He knew he must not stop no matter what he saw. Even if they were wounded. Even if they were him. Come. I never get tired of killing Thor's. <laughs> With every swing of his mighty hammer, Thor felt his bones rattle, his fingers crack, his muscles tear. And yet he swung again, even harder than before. <laughs> and again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> With every cut, he felt Gore's weapon creep inside him, burrowing deeper into his flesh. Broken blades became black maggots, eating him from the inside. But Thor made his mind as hard as the Uru of his hammer, and he thundered on. Thor ignored the pain, the roar of his own screams, the shattering of worlds around him. Thor focused only on bludgeoning, and ignored everything else. <clears throat> no. That's no empty moon.
Thus did the Norse god of thunder come to be worshipped on a scarred world in a distant corner of space. At last, I understand you, little god. The old you, the king. He's always been fueled by regret. He thinks if he kills me, he can erase his own history of wretched failure. And the young one, the Viking God, he uses arrogance and rage to mask his crippling shame. But you, you I could never quite figure out until now. You know I'm right. That's why you fight so hard. Why you try so desperately hard to seem noble. Because you see just how petty and useless your kind truly are. You know what I know. That gods have never created or cared for anything except themselves. <gasps> In the great black emptiness of space, the mighty Thor reached out his hammer, and at last the black leviathan fell. And Thor looked upon his work, and knew it was just the beginning. Thor the father, the lord of Asgard. Thor, the king of kings. Young Thor had a hammer in his hand and a viking cry of battle upon his lips. Beneath the rage, he was smiling. Thor, the son of Odin, the prince of Asgard. Thor, the bloody redeemer. Thor, the avenger, fought with the spirit of a multitude. Thor, the holy hero, champion of the cosmos. Thor, the hammer of heaven. The Three Thors, the greatest of all the gods. Or so the story goes. You mean to tell me that someday, I will be able to do that after them, into the sun? Somewhere in the cosmos, Star whales beached themselves on an asteroid and died. Hundreds of them, for seemingly no reason at all. A dog was born with the face of a child, screaming in terror. It did not live for long. A saintly woman died, and found no one waiting for her on the other side. No white light to guide her. Nothing. The sacred waters of the Well of Mimir turned red and bitter. The world tree bled at the roots. In Asgard, the statues of the kings began weeping. And on a backwoods world, an alien boy looked up at the morning sky and saw the sun turn black. On the world of Gore, thunder is heard. And then, it began to rain. It rained blood. God blood. Then, it rained hammers. And thorns. Make ready the bomb!